think we got a fish on. I think we got a fish on. It's also stuck in a tree. Yeah, there's a fish on there. Is that the steak? We got a fish. That was the key leg. Oh, we got a double. Welcome back to another Guggen Squad episode. Waking up here at camp. Camp Guggen, here on the lake. It's so nice. It's beautiful, and I think we need to do a little dang. Today, what we're gonna do is set some giant jug lines, and we're not gonna use your ordinary bait. Usually that is used for catfish. What are we gonna be using, Rack? A variety of things, really, and the star of the show is a filet mignon. Anyway, we're gonna have fun today catching some giant fish off some extraordinary bait. While we let the jugs marinate, we're also gonna be trying to catch possibly some big striper, some crappie, some largemouth, anything that is lurking for jerking. So let's not waste another moment and get out in the water and get to crank. Let's go to where we're seeing good shad. Do some in the lead-in areas. Sort of like bass, like pre-spawn kind of deal. Top water. Top's off. Oh man, we're working on a song. Mm -hmm. It's for the next, next album. These are gonna be our jugs right here. Uh, this is a homemade foam noodle that I put some bank line on and I've got some monofilament with a couple of uh, 5 aught catfish hooks on there and some little floaties. So we're gonna space these out. The first spot we're at is a bluff. Not a big tail guy. The first bait selection, gonna be shad. We're gonna make sure that doesn't get tangled on our way down. There she blows. Nugget deploying. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Next up out of our meat sack is uh, peppered bacon. I think the uh, the pepper the pepper's gonna marinate down there a little bit. Give them a little something to think about. This has got to be good bait. Like I've never used it, but it's got to be good bait. Oh man, you should see the the oil slick coming off that thing. Go get them. That's a heavy weight there. Another Baconator going on. Here we go, y'all. Uh, a nice medium rare ashy steak that got left over. Uh, my boy John just absolutely pounded this thing uh, out of the ashes. I think, I, was explaining I think I was explaining how to cook a steak, and as well, as I was doing that, I just dropped it right in the flames. You were like, oh, oh sh. Take it to the water, it's fine. Oh, Take it to the water, to the water, to the lake. Like this, this is how you tell it's medium rare. You gotta press in right here a little bit. You gotta flip to the side. It just falls right absolute, to the ashes. Absolute, absolute dork. <laughs> but anyway, now we have some, uh, some really attractive bait for these catfish. So right after the bacon, we're just gonna give them that filet, baby. Filet. Big chunks. Damn, son. I don't know if anyone's ever done this. <laughs> yeah, probably. One of the right stupidest does. idea ever, but that's what we specialize in. Steak is going in. Deploy. Ball, sweetheart. Good luck. Just about every time that I've done this, by the time you get to the last jug, no way. The first one's going. Really? So I just. I say we, we get we get our poles ready to fish for other species and uh, start twerking back that way because I think we're going to see some bobbing. We're striper spots right there. So All perfect. We'll just we'll oh. fish right there. We'll start right there, work our way in, and then we'll work our way to the jugs. And there was that other cut I was talking about from crop. Oh, yeah. That just one. over there. Yeah. So we're, we're prime. I feel so good about this situation. I feel like we're going to get a big catfish. We're going to get a striper. Your wagon is ready, sir. You got me rigged up. Your chariot awaits. Here we go, guys. John was nice enough to bring me up. Look at that beautiful shad wagon right there. Got our new jig heads on here. Variation of colors. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's probably a bass. Dude, that's a bass. <laughs> hey, got her. <laughs> nice, buddy. Nice. That's 
a good bass. <laughs> there we go. First PK bass of the trip. There really we go. Fishing for him. We'll take it. A hey, multi-species. That's a, yeah. That was the goal to come out here and catch a little bit of everything. There we have it. Our first true fish of the day. We're waiting on the jugs to marinate and catch the scent of a nice kitty. But uh, that's a nice way to start it. Nice largemouth bass. Very pale. Actually, not pale. Just kind of like silvery. <laughs> Pretty fish. Back down she goes. Thanks, nice, darling, you're cold. Oh, there you go. Stripey. Stripey. Yeah. Oh. No. Oh, largey. That's a school largey. There was like four together. Out there? Yeah. <laughs> this is interesting. This is very interesting. There's another Largo on the shad wagon. Nice fish. I thought that was the coolest stripers because it was like four of these together, but apparently there's largemouth cruising these bluffs. See you, baby. There you go. Look at that one. There we go. Nice fish. Nice strike. In the boat she comes. Wow, that's a neat, nice fish, buddy. One moment we're on bass, the next one is stripers. Nice largemouth. And one of my personal favorites, that being freshwater striped bass. Thank you, old girl, that was a fun fight. Oh, they were fun to catch. Bye-bye. There you go. There's Poppy. El Pupo Grande. Oh, he's coming, he's coming for yours. Mine? Oh, yep, he is coming for mine. Yeah, that feels like a largey. That's fast, dude. That's crazy. It is a large, it's a green one. Nice, this is fun. <laughs> this is fun. Smack them around. Smack them around a little bit, yeah. Whew. Another large mouth. It's cool to run a spot or run a specific bank where you have the opportunity to soak jugs, catch striper, and catch largemouth all with this all with just in the stone's throw away. Nice to spend a large mouth. That fish was in like 30 feet of water just right up on the bank. A lot of shatter dying right now, so these, these bass are taking full advantage of it. Send them back. Yeah, I'm pretty lucky this Guggen trip. Things have kind of panned out, haven't they? Let's keep cranking. Coming in, boys. Get ready. There we go. Bottom. Oh, yeah. Got him, bro. That's a strike. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. You can't tell me that's not bad. Yeah. You can't tell me that's not bad. Oh, it's a Laura. No, it's a strike. I was about to say, it's a nine pound bass. <laughs> oh, yeah. Absolutely hammering it, dude. They're in a good mood. They're in a better mood today. They are. They're getting the wagon in their face. I like it. Uh, nice little stripey. We'll let him go. Just feels good, man. I feel like the bite since we started camping here, it's gotten a little spicier. It's gotten better. <gasps> oh, oh my God. Gosh, oh dude, my God, that was so sick. Yeah, that was unreal. Oh my God. They're in, a, they're in a good mood right now. You might actually have two. <laughs> that was awesome. Just one, but they, there were two of them. Oh, there's another one with it. There's another one with it. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, he's, they're liking that. Uh, the yellow. Yeah. This does not suck. Catching fish that pull that hard. Oof. Man. Shad wagon. Available. Striper approved. They're ready for you. Use that promo code. LFG. Get wagoned out. There's movement. There's movement. Oh, yep, 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 yep. I don't know. Nope, definitely not large. <laughs> You're about to get throttled. <laughs> yep. Doubles, dude. Doubles up, doubles up. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Stripers. Stripers for days. Man, mine feels good. It's just, I mean, these are good fish. It's just kicking my ass. No, it's just kicking my ass. <laughs> Woo! Oh, this is such a such an amazing way to end Guggen Week. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, brother. Let's go. Look at that. Yeah, <laughs> oh my gosh. A couple of just fat brothers right there. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Unreal. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, go. Nice. Oh. Oh, that one's pulling pretty good. Yeah, that one is oh, pulling boy. very good. Oh boy. Brackley's got a nice one, I think. Yeah. Oh, he has multiple. 
Oh boy, we got ourselves a little girthy one here. Oh yeah, yeah well, that's a good one. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that's, nice one, dude. that's a big one. one. You want help? I'm scared to crap this I'll go, one, I'll go, man. I'll go. Oh my god. Oh, hello, oh, Sally. This is my biggest. Yeah. Holy. Oh god. my gosh, dude. Looks like there's more about that side. I know. It's scary. Oh. Maxing out the gear today. God, look wow, at the girth, man. It's not even that long. It's just... Yeah, it's absolutely <laughs> fat. It's got to be a big female. Wow, that is... Dude, that is a chunk. Mouth that thing. Oh my gosh, this is the this thing has a profile of a bass. No, no, no. I'm trying, I'm trying, brother, I'm trying. I got it, I got it. There we go. Yeah, Dude, buddy. no way. What Look the hell? This thing. I've never this seen one that freak. fat. I've never seen one that fat. Dude. This is a freak. Oh, oh, my oh it's squirt. Oh, no. I got <laughs> squirted on. No. Dude, that's like a nine, ten pounder. Dude, that's big. Oh, my gosh. Dude. Look at the girth. Oh, oh my god, that's the fattest striper I've ever Same. caught. Same, I've the biggest, fattest one I've ever seen. Holy schmoly. That's why you fish this time of year. Nice job, man. Dead gum. Oh, all right, we'll let this big girl go. Oh, she's angry. Oh, Rob's gonna be angry too when he sees this <laughs> shad splooge all over the middle of his boat. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, gosh. Let's see how the shad wagon held up, man. Good. I think it's okay. That's awesome. It's big striper approved. They're loving these saucy slimmers too, man. This just has a tighter wiggle. Perfect for this cold water. Sorry. Sorry, Rob. Sorry, buddy. Wait till you see the catfish goo that's gonna be in here. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably not gonna get any better. <laughs> oh my gosh. Junk check. All right, nothing on our initial uh, first couple that we put out. So we actually moved them up about 20 foot in depth. They're kind of drifting, so they're actually touching bottom right now. Now we're gonna check the last ones that we put out and see if there's anything on those and just move them up. Try a little shallower, see if that works. On here. I don't so, know. You still want to play? <laughs> play mini hans untouched <laughs> here. <laughs> drop the scope and start looking. So this is a, uh, it's a tube bait, but it's a solid body for putting on crappie jigs. And this little nugget right here is just a perfect little cold water, cold water crappie bait. What do we have here? I don't know. Bass. It's bass. <laughs> That was so crazy how quickly he he went to that bait. Well, large mouth. <laughs> the big pole. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, buddy. Sometimes it's all about the bycatch too. Sometimes, man. I, I don't you know, we were talking about the dangle dart, like catching bass, how weird that is, but I, I catch I catch bass all the time on crappie baits. Yeah. Like they just love them, man. Yeah, whenever I'm crappie fishing I catch bass or I'm crap wait. 
Yeah. Whenever I'm crappie fishing, I catch bass, and whenever I'm bass fishing, I catch crappie. So. Exactly. That's the way she goes. I think we got a fish on. I think we got a fish on, but it's also stuck in a tree. See? Oh, oh, oh yeah. There's a fish on that. Yeah. Is that the steak? That's the steak. Oh, yeah. There's 100% of fish on this, dude. Dude, we... but it's just sitting still. I think it's hung in a tree. I don't know. You want me to dive down there? You might have to dive down, bro. Definitely got a fish. That was the fillet. Wait. No. Oh. What was the deal? It literally bobbed up and down. I know. What? Well, that was a total mind bender. I don't know. You could see it. Like, I don't know what was going on there, guys. Do you think it was just getting bit? Some of the on a gar, maybe. Maybe a tortasi. Oh, yeah, that's also. A well pretty successful day here we'll go check these other ones and uh, see what we got going on oh that one's going down oh yeah look got at one her. on the line baby oh yeah got it got her wait oh, god it feels big really yeah oh dude no way yeah. no way Oh, we got a double. Oh, we got a double. No we way. Got a double, baby. No Let's, go. Let's go. <laughs> That's awesome. Doubles, dude. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Is that the steak or the shad? That was the shad, actually. Yeah, they wanted the shad. Pretty cool. These are channel cats. These are not the, the big blues we're looking for, but this is actually a nice channel cat on the other hook right here. I'm going to let this little guy go. Yeah, that's, a, that's a big for a channel. This is a respectable channel. That was spending one more day here. We'd be eating good. Oh, I know. Look at that. Everything is just munching shad right now. Gorging. Every fish we've caught has been really healthy. Alk, alk, alk. Hell yeah. Catfish captured, baby. Ah, I don't really like to smell of these. <laughs> Let's let it go. Let it grow. That was a reset too. Pretty cool. See ya. Probably the first time I ever let go of catfish that was full grown. <laughs> yeah, this is our last day, so we're kind of packing things up. But if we were here another day, that one would be going in the cooler. Still on that fish on the board. No tips. No tips. That's all right. That's all right. We're on to our last and final jug. Even if we didn't, even if we don't get a fish on this last one, we at least doubled up on our shallow water jug. It was like our first one we pulled, which is pretty exciting. And all in all, we had a pretty good day. But fingers crossed. Let's see. Uh, let's see, what we've got floating here. It's kind of moving. Bam! Oh wait a minute. Tension. Tension. Yep. Tension. Tension. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. Let go. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Oh my gosh! Go back, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. It just I'm going. got heavy and I I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Oh my god. Are you stuck or is it fit? Well, there goes the suspense. Nothing on our final jug. Nonetheless, such an amazing day. We caught catfish. We caught striper, we caught largemouth. We, we accomplished what we set out to do, and that is to experience a little multi-species challenge and showing you guys two completely different spectrums of catching and landing some interesting fish that lurk down below. Rack, is there anything you want to add before we close this out? Um, and bid farewell to everyone? I, I love eating all these things yeah. as well. You know, today wasn't the day, but stay tuned for more Catch and Cooks. Stay tuned for more adventures with the Guggen Squad. It's gonna be a great year. And don't forget to check out the new apparel and new baits, Saucy Slimmers, Tasty Tubes. Shad Wagons. Shad Wagons. That was the star of the show today, nope. Shad Wagons. Use your favorite promo code of your favorite creator and get you some, keep fishing and never stop. See you in the next episode of the Guggen Squad. Hey, got her. Oh. Got her. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 <laughs>